Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled, I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 8. It's called The Laws of Infernal Dynamics. Full spoilers for the episode, as always. Now, of course, this is the mid-season finale, uh, which is a little weird because usually it's 10 before Christmas, but they don't have a, a middle show to uh, be on in January or February anymore. Which yeah, because it used to be March before we got this back. Yeah, which is a bit of a... You know, double-edged sword. On the one hand, more breaks after Christmas for S.H.I.E.L.D. On the other hand, I don't have to watch Agent Carr. So, you know. And on the other, other hand, we get it back early January instead That's true. of middle of March. That is very true. So, um, this was essentially a mostly action-packed episode with um, Eli practicing with his powers and he creates a plutonium core and, you know, entire city part of the country is all at risk the team have to go in we've got we've got sky we've got ghost rider we got yo-yo whole team shebang a lot of fun action sequences that i really really enjoyed in this one um a couple of really big money moments in particular with sky um like when she can't handle the uh absorbing all the quakes and she goes outside and she like f- jumps up into the air and we get that great slow motion moment of her just Midair. hanging at the top, yeah, yeah it's and then fantastic. She falls back down and then turns her powers back on just in time to avoid a crash landing. The one I really liked was Yo Yo running through the building with the flames. With the flames, all right, yeah, because she had two good moments in this one. She had that. She did, yeah, and with, then she had the one where she's taking out everyone. Yeah, she had that with the flames, and she had the other one where everyone was mid fight, and she runs in and she like repoints like Max Gun, so that he, like the guy who's running for him will get shot when you know things yeah. speed up again. And she sets up another couple of things, and she sets up Eli with Fitzy's device to Hickey, so that they can control the uh, the explosion. So that you know, so the city won't get nuked, basically. Yeah, it's a very very heroic moment for her there. Yeah, um, but no, uh, I had a lot, a lot of good fun with all that stuff, and I, I think that was kind of the highlight for me. And there was some good character stuff throughout as well. Um, obviously, by the end of the episode, Sky is once again an agent of Shield because when she lands from the big moment. She's in front of all the press, and they all start. Oh, you're working with the the terrorists, known as Quake, and uh, Mason steps out and like announces she's been secretly working for them, and uh, gives her a, a nice press moment. That nice little uh, cover story. Yeah. However, th- obviously, I'm happy that Sky's back, and I, I really, um, and even I, I love that moment with uh, Coulson, where she says, "There's some things that I didn't miss," and he said, um, "And they miss you too." You know, it was it was obvious what she was talking about. It was a nice little yeah. Moment. yeah. But one of my favourite things is when she goes into the uh, the rec room with the rest of them, and Simmons gets all excited and hands her her badge or you know her, her pass, and uh, she's like, "Oh, it's blue." And she's like, "What does that mean?" And like Fitz just goes, "No one knows." It was a <laughs> like, great like cracked me up. It was a great callback to it was episode one, episode two, when we had all this you know color coding color and, bollocks and, and yeah. who was like outranking who in certain situations because of the colors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a good callback to that. It was just, Nice and simple. Um, so, uh, no, I thought this was a lot of fun. I, I, I have, yeah, this was a really solid episode. I have very, Obviously, there's a big twist at the end, which um, we'll get to. Uh, but, of course, all of... Uh, oh, I'm forgetting her name. Ada? Yes. Yeah, Ada, yeah. I, I did to myself there for some reason. But all, all of Ada's like involvement in, um, like, Coulson just telling Mason about her. And like just that moment where they'll go, uh, yeah, by the by, uh, she isn't entirely human, you know? Yeah, yeah, I love Mace's reaction. He's just yeah. like, what? Does and no- then he's like, oh, I was attracted to her. And then he's like, does no one remember Ultron? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, very valid points, mate. Yeah. I, I also, I, I like Mace going out in his suit at the end and, you know, fighting using his powers we we haven't really seen that beyond him showing that he has them well i think i think from a a character perspective the the best the main main purpose of this episode and perhaps the most interesting about this episode is that this is the idea the team acknowledging that they are kind of broken and coming together at the end you know mason is like you know he he goes to say his little phrase his little a team that trusts is a team that triumphs uh, which is becoming almost comical every time it's brought up now and he's like, we're not a team who we kidding because they have that showdown where he's like, wait, you've been hiding this and you're working with Sky and you're doing this. And then Coulson's like, yeah, and you made a deal with the senator who hates inhumans. Like, what's going on here? And yeah. they have this confrontation and, you know, but by the end it feels like everyone's kind of pulling together in some 
some way, and they realize that they have to pull together. So, yeah, that's and it, that's, that's what makes the end scene so nice when they are all just sat around together. Yeah, and we get a lot of small resolutions. Uh, Mac and Yo Yo finally kiss and uh, yeah. have their little moment. Also heartwarming because they've had good chemistry. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time coming that. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good season and a half now. Women. To the point where, uh, and when she brought up, I kind of just assumed it was already going on. Yeah, because she, she mentioned they had like one day or whatever, and but it's and not. I was been... kind of, yeah, I was kind of like, oh, was was that it? I just kind of assumed that they'd had more by this point. I think because she's been like still living, whatever for the most part, and Max still been off on like with Shield. I think it's mostly been like a, you know, a Skype relationship. You know, yeah, yeah, here or there. Texting and that kind of thing. Maybe it's not been as, you know, we're in the same place, so we can't actually be physical to yeah, some yeah. extent. Yeah, uh, that's a fair point. Yeah, but no, uh, so Yo-Yo could be a mem- member of the team now if she wants. I'd be cool with that. See, you say that, but that means something tragic will happen to her. Or Mac. Oh, yeah, because we're not like have characters be happy. That's the... we, can't, we can't have two happy couples on the show at the same time. No, we can't. You're very right. Uh, that's, that's another small thing. I really I like that Fitz is excited that Ada's coming on the mission. And <laughs> Simmons is like, yeah, she's here. You don't have to get too excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which, of course, um, maybe maybe when Mason actually does make the choice to, you know, okay, we'll, we'll you can keep doing your, your LMD business, but it has to be under S.H.I.E.L.D.'s house. I think at that point, it's like, oh, no, this is a mistake. <laughs> so, yeah. so nothing bad's going to happen. And then they gave us a twist, which I legitimately did not see coming i will give them credit now connor did not see it coming but he knew it was coming because he somehow spoiled it for himself look this was not intentional i watched this just before we're recording this so as you can tell i did not watch it live and i was scrolling through facebook or Twitter, i can't even remember where it was and the poster that you know is telling us the new date for the next half of the season popped up it's a very nice poster and much like how this half a season had the subtitle of Ghost Rider, this one says LMD. I was like, ooh. And, and it just, I forgot I hadn't seen the episode at this point, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I was on the way to the comic shop, and I was just scrolling through a phone. I forgot I hadn't seen it. And it's all the characters, like all the main cast, blacked out, except May. I was like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, so May has... It's funny because obviously the scene before we find out, we see uh, Mason's like crony. I can't remember his name. The, the random agent. Masonson. Yes, I'll say very good. But he's been sort of hanging around and helping people here or there the last few episodes, and he's there to like collect data for Ada because Mason wants it. He wants it all in house, and he opens a store and he sees something. And he goes, "Oh my god!" And then Ada kills him. And he's like, "Oh, done." And it cuts to the thing. I was like. Oh, please tell me we're going to see what's in that door. That is cruel if you don't show us. But luckily, the the post credit scene, if you will, was us seeing what was in the door. And it was uh, the real May. The May that's been with Coulson this whole episode and talking about having the drink Yeah. is a fake. Makes you think, when did they swap her out? Well, I imagine it I was mean, when... I mean, I assume it was when she went to pick yeah. him up. But... I don't know, I was thinking before that. Oh, okay. Maybe when she went to uh, get patched up, remember? She was... So you say that, but I was under the impression... Again, I'm speculating here, but I was thinking maybe this was because she'd read The Darkhold and it was something to do with that. And obviously, May got patched up before that. Didn't she? Well, that depends what you're talking about. Because remember, she got affected by the whole ghost thing and that she was seeing stuff and that's what was that's why she was in danger. That's why she went uh, to... Yeah, yeah. They'd done that. Yeah, but I mean, like, when did... When did we swap out which one we're, we're seeing was maybe later than that. You think it was later than that? Yeah, I was thinking maybe it was even in this episode. Like, you know, uh, you know uh, the start where where he sends May off to go and uh, pick true. her up? Yeah, it could have been. That's maybe, that maybe is a bit more believable because she'd have had time to build her. Yeah, I was thinking it would be she's Actually, done it after she's read The Dark Hole last oh, week. Oh, after Ada read The Dark Hole? I thought you meant May. Yeah, yeah, sorry. No. And I was Ada. like, wait, when did May read The Dark Hole? No, uh, yeah, because she was making that brain last episode. Maybe that was May's brain. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Ah, okay, right, this is lining up now. Right. So, yeah, so we have evil robot May. Oh, I, I yes. say evil. Uh, I mean, maybe it'll be more shades of grey, I don't know. Could get interesting. 
Um, it does mean, though, that by the time we get to the end of the season, there will be a May v's May fight. That's almost a certainty. In fact, it's, it's not even almost. That is a certainty. And real May being pissed about it should be delightful. Yeah. That's my, that's I, my thoughts on it, anyway. I like how Ada programmed May to have, like, to, to think of these common phrases. You know, like, like how we see her all this episode struggling with general, like, phrases that we use? Yeah, like, yeah, uh, uh, like, uh, start the magic or whatever he said. Yeah, 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 and she was like, oh, it's not magic, it's all tech, you know. And it, it seems like, she, now I'm wondering, is she just acting? Or did she program the May mm. better than herself? But, but how could she do that? So surely she'd just have to be Well, maybe if it's from the dark hold, maybe that's why. Yeah. Or maybe it is a case of she's acting so that it's less obvious that someone Because there else... was a few of them in this episode, probably more so than we've had at any other point. Hmm. wonder, so, what, I wonder uh, what her motives are, if it's just as simple as uh, wanting to take over the human race kind of thing, or if there's... But see, you say that, but it could still be not evil. Because like, obviously her okay. prime directive is to be a decoy to defend to replace those in danger so maybe she thinks by replacing may she is actually keeping the real may alive i think that would be a more interesting twist like obviously we'll probably go for a while thinking it's evil because it's just the way it'd play out yeah. but if they do end up revealing that no no this was actually a well-intentioned thing like that this is for another because it's not like may that you know fake may has done anything bad yet we've not seen her do anything that would no, harm she anyone went on the mission she did a good job yeah, she didn't do a whole lot in the mission. To be fair, she just well, yeah, but yeah, she she didn't get in the way. <laughs> she didn't get in the way. Yeah, she didn't she didn't stop anything from happening. So exactly. So that could very much be where we're going. I don't know, but uh, in- interesting interesting to think about. Obviously, uh, Robbie does kind of vanish in with the whole the cube and the, the plutonium with Eli. Eli, I don't think there's much to say. He, he develops his powers a little bit and he can create more stuff, but they kind of realise that he's actually just taking it from this other dimension that Fitz and Coulson were in, because you can't create matter out of nothing. It has to come from somewhere. So the idea that he's stealing it from elsewhere. Yeah. I quite like his power set, though. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it as well. Uh, it almost makes me a little disappointed that he's dispatched off so quickly. Yeah, like, you know when he made the guy choke on the diamonds? Yeah. I was like, that's pretty cool. I, th- I think, yeah, I mean, I think if he was a more interesting character with this power set, you could have really built him up to be the big bad villain of the whole season. Yeah. Because his powers are really terrifying and it makes him really strong. But I think him as a character himself was, yeah, he was kind of... He, he was, was okay. too tied individually to, to Robbie and, yeah. and the Ghost Rider plot than to be the big bad for everyone. I think it's because he, it, it's because they had to do the whole thing where they pretended he wasn't that bad a guy, you know, and then they yeah. twisted it. And because he has these like normal family ties, it's not so much that it's specifically to Robbie, just that, you know, he has all this human backstory. Whereas if it, if they built him up as a mysterious character and then he got these powers, maybe it would. Uh, I don't know, but I'm just. Um, but he's he's dispatched of at least for from what we know right now he could pop up again. I mean if Robbie can come back and we expect he will. I I I, I mean Carlson even pretty much sev- says as much, doesn't he? Yeah, he's like, well, we came back and he came back before himself, so why why not again? And uh, I believe he said the last Ghost Rider did. Yeah, and then Sky's like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, was Carlson knowing? Is, is this something? Is he referring to something we don't know about? It feels. I like am, it. I feel like it was. I feel like he was referring to to a. You know, Johnny Blaze, previous Ghost Rider. Is it, yeah, as if he's like encountered. But he, is there anything he said in the season before now? Even like, hint- it hasn't. But he hasn't really interacted that much with Ghost Rider, really, has he? Nah. See, I should be curious for a rewatch now to see if the way he, whenever it's brought up around him for the first time, like how does he react? Does he act as if he knows what it is, or if? You know, yeah. does it sync up with that idea? I don't know, but maybe that'll be something that'll be explored more. Or it's just a fun little nod for the sake of it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it could just be that. Which makes sense. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fun little nods, uh, Coulson saying that he wanted an inhuman to run S.H.I.E.L.D. and he hints that it was it should have been Sky, and she gets all sort of like goofy and embarrassed. like, nah, nah, maybe in the comic book version. See, I thought that line was a little bit cringy, I'll be honest. And see, I liked it. I was just... Uh, I was... Well, you said speaking of cool little nods. Well, attempted cool little nods. Yeah, I, that one didn't work for me. I'll tell you, I didn't like the line, right? I didn't like the comic book line, but I liked everything else about it, if that makes sense. I liked her reaction. 
Yeah, I like that. It was the actual line that I didn't yeah. like. It just felt really cringy. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't. Why would you say that? Exactly. I could buy maybe seeing in an alternate universe or maybe or... when they make a t- maybe when they make a movie about it. Yeah, you know, like wh- like something like that. No, that sounds just as bad to me. <laughs> See, the thing is, like, I'd buy that because people make movies about events like this, you know, all the time. Like, Aye, but that seems like such a huge change. Whereas I would buy the comic book line a lot better had they like, even just had like some point in the show, just shown that someone was making like comic books based on like you know the Avengers and Shield. Ah, uh, that's you know? true. Yeah, and then it would be specifically referencing. Oh, since they're doing comic books about this, they might do it one day about us, and that would be the the joke. It'd make more sense. Yeah. Um, that said, I did like her reaction. Her little sort of smirking, like nah. nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, I like that part of it. I just, just not the line. No. Nah. But no, uh, I thought it was a solid mid-season finale. I think, I think it maybe, I think I had some really great moments. We talked about the yo-yo. We talked about Sky getting up in there. Some, you know, big money moments that I thought looked great and felt exciting. I think the only thing it suffers from is comparing it to the mid-season finales of the last two years, which I think were both maybe slightly stronger. Maybe, but structurally it feels very similar to last year's one. It does. I think it feels very structurally similar to the last two years. I think there's a very clear sort of pattern to these seasons. Not not in a bad way, just... The, yeah, they're very I, much two halves, aren't yeah. they? Um, and I think, you know, season two you had, that's when Sky got her powers, you know, and the uh, the terror. See that one felt a little bit more like it was one longer story because it was kind of building to that. Yeah, but that was a big climax for it though. That was a big. I still feel it like was. a season finale. Yeah, yeah, but that felt like a natural break. Whereas this feels like this is the end of a story, and then we're starting another one. And it, the same thing kind of happened last year with uh, Lash, because that's how we ended the the mid season ride was they dealt with Lash. Actually, no. Last last year's mid season finale was them coming back from the uh, the planet. If you remember right. Was Lash? Bef- when was Lash? Lash was last season, but it wasn't. Yeah, ra- but was that not? Th- no, it wasn't. Like, that, it wasn't wrapped up in mid-season. Was it not? No, I think you're missing. Remember the the whole thing where we don't, we don't know if Fitz and Coulson got back, and he killed Ward on the planet, and then we see the the drop ship thing come back up, and they'll get out, and the see, music's playing. I, I, I do remember all this, but that was the mid-season finale. For some reason, in my head, I remember th- thinking. Oh yeah, they did the Lash stuff, and I was like, "Oh, that was this half of the season." And oh, okay, cool, we well, can Lash, move on now. Lash was still all around the, in the second half. In fact, one of my favorite moments of last season was with Lash and Sky uh, towards the end of the season. Well, yeah, yeah, but he came back towards the end because they put him in the cryo chamber, didn't they? Like right early on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they brought him back. To be honest, it's kind of blurred together at this point now. now it has blurred together, it. but Lash wasn't the main thing in the mid-season. The, the mid-season finale was dealing with the planet. Yeah, you're right. Lash had nothing to do with that mid-season finale, from what I can remember. What the hell am I confusing it with? That, this is you being weird. Yeah, yeah, it is. When the hell was that Lash bit, then, that I'm thinking of? I don't know, it was an episode before that. It might have been before that, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that took five minutes, and it was just you being wrong. Uh, anyway. I will hold my head up. I was wrong on that one. Anyway. Probably. That that wraps up our review of the uh, the mid season finale of Shield. Uh, pretty strong, pretty good. Lots of big moments and set up some cool stuff for the next half of the season and lots of great character beats. Um, I thought so. I have very little to complain about because I seen someone online say it was a flat mid season finale. I disagree with that. Do you think we'll get Ghost Rider back in this show, like maybe this season, or it'll be something we'll kind of come back to later on, maybe in the spin? I, I, I think he'll come back this season. Yeah. I think I mean I wouldn't surprise me if they didn't, but I, I think he will. I think he'll pop back up. Um, but then again, if they if they if they do decide they want to do a Netflix Ghost Rider show, then maybe they could just save it for that. And they've like, had like a nice neat exit. That's what yeah. crossed my mind. They've got a nice neat exit that they can kind of pull him back in and speaking of cool little character moments. Actually, I love that Coulson brought my chain. Yeah, that was cool. He was like, he's, he knows what he can do with it. He's like, yeah, I'm bringing a chin. Like, yeah, that was yeah. cool. Anyway, that's uh, our uh, review of the mid-season finale of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, we'll be back, of course, after Christmas. I believe we did just get the date on that spoiler poster that Connor got. What was it, it January was 10th? January 10th. And I know because it annoyed me when I realised. Yeah. That, so that's a little bit earlier than I was expecting, which is cool. So it's only a month away. So we'll see you then for that. 
Uh, let us know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. It helps us out a lot if you do. Get us on Twitter at mild underscore fuzz. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.